Hey, what is up my friends? I'm out here in the early morning on the wood pile with a mini multi-tool, the Roxon KS2. I think they said it has 13 different functions. Interesting. Now you might be thinking, hey, this is just so blocky. It's, it's not really stylish. They're not trying to be stylish. This is actually ideal for fitting into a kit, right? If, if you have a little container that you keep some EDC or uh, emergency supplies in, this fits very nicely in little kits. So I actually like that it's squared off like that. So it's got these scissors here, large scissors. This has one-handed opening on a little knife blade. The knife blade also locks securely. It's got a bunch of tools here, which you just push that, it frees them. You have a sewing awl, which can also be a reamer, right? It's a leather punch. You have a nail file, a Phillips screwdriver, and you have two opener tools, can opener, bottle opener, flathead right there. Now this, not only does this uh, free the tools, but if you push it this way, it unlocks them, right? This is locked. Push it that way to disengage the lock. Now right here, you have a saw. There's a little nail neck there. Saw does lock. Liner lock. You've got tweezers. Okay. And you've got a glass breaker. Okay, Phillips screwdriver. This is a Kershaw machete. We've got some screws right there. Fits it. All right, as you see, it works well. We loosened up that screw. Let's tighten it back down. Screwdrivers are always handy to have, you know what I'm saying? All right, so that worked. Got that uh, Phillips, and there's that other flathead, which I'm sure works just as well. Now, this also has ruler markings there. Excellent and they list this as a nail file. Well, can it file your nails? Uh, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it could. I'm, I'm sure it can give you a little manicure if you so choose. Yeah, it bites in nicely, actually. There you go. Okay, the scissors. Let's cut to a really hard test with these scissors. A lot of multi-tool scissors can't do this test. Here is the paracord, right? Look at that. Look how clean it cuts. Look how easy. Effortless. I'm really impressed with these scissors. You don't even have to hold it taut like that, right? Just out in the air. One movement. Those are excellent scissors. It can easily cut through straps like this. Now someone asked if you could use uh, the mini scissors like for grooming. Well, definitely, I mean, if it can cut paracord, it can cut like little stray hairs. Uh, definitely, I don't know if you could see that, but yeah, it took those hairs and as far as your nails, let's see what it does. There you go. Okay, so definitely you could use this for grooming. Yeah, it'll punch holes right through, very pointed. All right, what else can we do? Well, this is a punch, but you can also use it as a reamer, which is a hand drill. It does lock and it's actually pretty good at drilling through, actually. You see that? Now this is for, uh, well, you could use it to drill a lanyard hole into the handle of uh, like a spoon or something you might be carving. Plenty of uses for a reamer. Hope you're all doing well these days, definitely. In these, uh, these troubled times, I try to give you stuff to watch, to inform. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's through to the other side. That's actually one of the best uh, reamers that I've seen on a little multi-tool. All right, bottle opener. There you go. All right, that works. Okay, and we have the uh, can opener. This is a pushing style can opener, which is not my preferred. 
got some corned beef hash. Oh, sorry about that truck noise. We got stuff happening. All right, keep in mind, I'm left-handed, so this is a little tricky, but I'm just going to pierce it. All right, there you go. So it's well sharp enough to work your way around. It's a push opener. There you go. I actually do eat this. This is not just a, a prop. I usually eat this with like some scrambled eggs. All right, let's see if, if I can take one for the team here. Are these precise enough? Whoa, let me squint here. Okay, can you see that? Oh, there we go. Okay, they work. Stray hair, yep. I was a little bit shocked by this knife blade. It is a partial flat grind into a very, a very fine relief grind. All right, here it is on the paracord. Now when I first got this, I did do the old paper test with it. So let's roll in the paper test as well as we're going to get a weight on this item. Alright, just had to be sure. Yeah, it is, um, it, it's surprisingly sharp. Alright, let me explain to you why this blade actually works a lot better than you would think it would work. You have the bevel, the grind, and then the bevel there. And then look past the edge bevel, what you could call the actual edge. They've made that like a scalpel. It's a fine little blade. Yeah. And whittle a little with that blade. I'm sure you could do some food prep. I'm sure it would make short work of uh, peppers and cucumbers or whatever you have out there. Yeah, enjoying using this uh, fine edge that they gave me. 4.43 ounces. Let's change the unit. 125.5 grams. So here is the saw. Seems to be biting in pretty well. All right, that's, that's good enough to see what it does. So what did the saw do? Well, it, you know, did what it does. Sawed in a little notch. All right, that's okay. I wasn't, I'm not expecting a little saw like that to be, uh, you know, to take down a tree or anything, so that's good enough. Okay, the glass breaker. Now, I'm not going to smash out a car window, right? I think this is the type of thing that, like, it's better than nothing, but you're never going to rely on a tiny little thing like this as a, as a primary rescue tool. But I don't mind them putting it on here, but I'll just show you. It looks like you have an, a, an extremely hardened bearing as the breaker. So, all right. If I don't have anything else, well, I'm glad they stuck that on there it doesn't really take up much space so cool okay here's the pocket clip in action i'd say it's uh fairly loose but you could probably bend it more to uh tighten it up to your specifications there's a close-up of that clip okay so final thoughts on this i'm surprised um the two most important things by far the knife blade and the scissors they've done really well yeah those scissors bigger and just as capable as victorinox scissors i i never thought i'd be saying that you know me i'm all picky and stuff i got people getting mad because sometimes i'll show scissors that crap out on the paracord and they're like you're not supposed to use it you know they accuse me of scissors abuse scissors abuse come on man i'm doing my job and when you see how this destroys the paracord you know that those other scissor scissors really just uh, weren't that good. The reamer and all also worked particularly well. And the other functions, they're just in the, you know, nice to have, could come in handy category. Okay, my people, a shocking review, but for a change in a good way, I'll include a link to this below the video. Yeah, I, hi I actually highly recommend this mini multi-tool. 
I just think it's very useful and uh, for whatever reason they executed it uh, a lot better than uh, competing multi-tools. Subscribe if you like gear reviews, more multi-tools of course as well as knives, swords, flashlights, air guns, all kinds of stuff. I'm out.